Okay guys, and the last video that you guys have seen will either be the axles install or the header install. I don't know what order I'm going to edit it in. They still April 4th, still working on it. I'm going to install the spark plugs. Um, and probably put on the nice valve cover and the nice valve cover gasket. So I'm going to go ahead and start with... Um, Removing the coil packs first and then putting in the spark plugs and trying to think what else I Do need to see some stuff about the fuel, but I'll save that for later. So for now, let's go ahead and pop off these coil packs This wiring harness can move for now let's see those And go ahead and take care of this now, so let's knock this out currently in this motor and these are the I think these are my old coil packs which I'm going to reuse and I did gap these to 0 0.032 so I already checked these put some anti-seize on them running this car is completely dry so I'm gonna put four quarts in let's see how do I want to do this Super bummed for the valve cover. I was gonna put on the new one, but apparently I lost the new gasket. I'm almost positive I bought a new gasket. So tomorrow morning I have to run to Acura and get that. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and come back and focus on the transmission now and go ahead and refill it. So which is recommended two quarts, two and a half, um, if it's bone dry. This one is dry. Remember, this is a five-speed all-wheel drive element transmission. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this one rolling, but it is dry. So I'll probably put plenty, probably put two and a half, maybe three, just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up and set up all my stuff and get this done. All right, so how I'm going to refill it is I'm going to fill the transmission from the where your speed sensor would have been. Uh, the vehicle speed sensor, this one doesn't have it. It just has a big old bolt and washer that go in it. Uh, this is blue from when I did the uh, Galant's rear diff. And I put it in a mobile oil, the, the Honda oil, I put in here, the gear oil. Just so I could connect it right here. Hopefully. At least enough to use. Alright, 
to be quite honest, that didn't work out too well. So, I'm just going to use a funnel down there. Still a challenge to get to this funnel. I wish I had a nice big tall funnel, but of course I do not. about a little bit more that first bottle wasn't completely full <clears throat> that's what I'm working with here all right last quart I'm going to put in This is the fill right here, but decided not to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on. And the only reason I didn't want to use it was because I don't really have the right hose to slip in there. So I do think I want to put more oil in there, even though this isn't fully bolted on. I want to, uh, I want to, what do you call it? Check the fuel pressure, see which one is the, see which one's the, Fuel pressure side, sorry. I hope it's not leaking out on the back side. That would suck. Okay, so what I want to check right now, since the stock fuel system that was on this car is all cut up and different, I'm going to see if this is the fuel pressure side. So I'm going to stick this here, have it pointing in there, and I should be able to prime the car. Um, nothing should be alright to, to prime. Uh, I just plan on putting it in the on position, which should turn on the fuel pump, but I guess we'll find out right now. My thought works. Maybe I am going to have to crank it. Let's find out.
All right, so the Integra did not crank over. So what I'm going to do is try to put a little bit more of it back together. Remember, all I want to do is crank it. Maybe it wants the coil packs. <clears throat> and could be this ground that it wants. Let's see if this stuff works. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, got to put my bottle back on there. That actually might have done it right there. Yep. <coughs> Oof. <coughs> Fuck. I actually inhaled a shit ton of gas. Alright. That is what I wanted to know. I'm still debating if I want to crank it to prime the oil pump. But I don't have this seated on all the way, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold off. But now I know now I know that this is the feed. So whoever put this car together did not use the correct fuel line. So the, these lines are corroding. And I'm sure there's a mess waiting to happen. So, this top line's the feed, and the new K-tuned slides right over that. Which is this guy right here. So, the K-tuned kit... It's right here. should slide over this guy and this should slide onto this hose this is the feed hopefully I'm gonna sit here and fight this for a little bit. Okay guys, it looks like I'm gonna end the video right here. Um, 
the fuel pressure. I read it. I always say it wrong. The I thought it was the line that was over here, but that's the line that I need to go to the firewall. It did have a fuel filter after all, so I might just use that and use uh, a hose slip on, just so I can run the hose all the way over here and probably just zip tie it somewhere around there for the time being. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The headers bolted on, both axles are in, uh, the O2 sensor is on, I put that on. It is tight under there, hopefully at my friend's uh, tomorrow, I'll show you guys, well today is already the next day, today is now the 5th, but all that's left is radiator, I did fix this ground that broke, oh, excuse me. Radiator, the lower and upper hose, intake, and the feed, the feed, the uh, feed line for the fuel, injectors, and the new valve cover with the valve cover gasket. So that's really about it. Other than that, this guy is pretty much done. I want to start it really badly. But I can't until I get that fuel line situated. But that's that, guys. Maybe I'll see which one's the fuel. Oh, maybe I can pull the fuel uh, pump line and try to start it well, to prime it. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Well, the fuel pump is, uh, the fuse is pulled, obviously the injectors are unplugged, everything else is pretty much on it, so I'm going to go ahead and crank it to prime the fuel pump. Let's see, this is not bolted down, but that shouldn't matter too much. Well guys, looks like I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. Um, the car won't crank for some reason. So, I don't know. I got to figure that out. Um, there are just a few things that aren't plugged in. But I cannot see that being an issue on starting the car. So, we'll see what's going on. But, for now, go ahead and... Like, subscribe, share the video. It's coming along. Now I gotta figure out why it just doesn't kick over. But hopefully tomorrow I can figure that out. But thanks guys. Appreciate all the support and more videos to come on this.